Greetings dear friends, I present your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Mitsubishi Pajero Sport 1. Early cars featured inline four-cylinder engines of the 4G64 series, familiar to owners of Gallant and other Mitsubishi cars, but the main engines are still at 3-liter V6 of the 6G72 series with a capacity of 177 horsepower in diesel 4D56 with a volume of 2.5 liters and a capacity of 99 to 136 liters. In original versions, one could find the larger 6G74 with a volume of 3.5 liters and the diesel 2.84 M40 and other engines, but cars with them come across extremely rarely. The prevailing 3-liter V6 in our market is really good. Cast iron block, successful design, work out over the years and very good traction characteristics. The timing belt is driven by a belt, but this is not a drawback at all, because the belt is strong and reliable. The control system is far from perfect, but with minimal investment it can be put in order. Usually plugs, high voltage wires, ignition modules, lambda sensors and temperature sensors, and sometimes the wiring of the engine compartment itself are brought in. Serious damage to the motor can be caused by a malfunction of the cooling system, for example antifreeze leaks, which are not uncommon, or fan failure due to viscous coupling or electrical problems. The radiators themselves are frankly flimsy, inflate when the system pressurizes and are easily fouled in typical urban use. The tendency to increase oil appetite at age is usually tried to be eliminated with better quality of oils and replacement of valve stem seals, which is quite successful. With runs for 250-300 km, the oil appetite progresses up to half liters per thousand km, but the engine remains operational and even catalyst can withstand such regime for a long time. The main thing is not to miss the oil level, since the crankshaft is very easily damaged by the slightest fluctuations in the level. An oil with a viscosity of SAE40 and higher is recommended, and a mandatory check of hydraulic lifters and hydraulic timing belt tensioner after 2000 km. Intake manifold leaks can be a little more troublesome. Of course, you need to monitor the condition of the candles and high voltage wires. Interruptions in ignition lead to early failure of the catalyst, which in turn kills the piston group. The condition of the gaskets of the front cover of the unit will also require attention. Leaks quickly kill the timing belt, the resource of which is typically about 90,000 km. Often it is able to pass even 120, but when old, it breaks down very quickly. Unlike gasoline, diesel 4D56 is not considered particularly reliable. A fairly old design, which was consistently first from 70 to 99 or even 136 horsepower, corny doesn't withstand the load despite the general thoughtfulness and quality of performance. The cylinder head and block crack, the pistons burn out under load, the rocker arm axles break, and sometimes even the time being belt tears with low mileage. With quiet operation, the engine can withstand both 300 and 400,000 km with one trip at a speed of 120-130 km per hour of a couple of hours can lead to cracking of the cylinder head and the appearance of excessive pressure in the cooling system. The injection equipment on Pajero Sport engines doesn't cause any particular problems. The price of the components is low, EGR is easily muffled in the event of a malfunction. Injectors are inexpensive. But all this is in low-powered versions. As for the later European variants with a boost of more than 136 liters, then there are the fuel equipment is different and the reliability is also lower. In addition to standard diesel problems, one can only know the high chances of IRA airing the injection pump on cars with a leaky fuel system and problems associated with contamination of the fuel tank. A feature of the motor is the absence of hydraulic lifters. At the same time, the design of the valve drive is not very successful. The cap usually decreases with age, which leads to overheating and cracking of the valves. The cap must be checked at least once every 50,000 km. The overhead intercooler is not particularly service-friendly, but provides a very small intake track. Insufficient power of the basic diesel engines is the reason for attempts to put the squeeze on the engine a little. Many are trying to modify the wastegate control to increase power. Even without interfering with the firmware, this allows you to get up to 130-150 liters, but with a noticeable increase in smoke and the chances of cylinder head cracks. The engine is highly recommended to install HED sensors to monitor the exhaust temperature. Alternatives to diesel 2.5, I'm afraid that they in fact they, they are not. Large diesels like the Toyota Land Cruiser or Nissan Petrol are not in the arsenal of this car. There are stronger diesel engines 2.8, but they are practically not found on Russian secondary, so you just need to put up with its low efficiency of a diesel engine, this is a motor from the 90s. The transmission of the CUV is classic, with the transfer case and drive of the front and rear axles by carbon shafts. There may be several options. The simplest one with a drive only to rear axle is used for cars from the USA and some trim levels from Asia. 
it is quite rare, usually complete with a three-cylinder engine and automatic transmission and doesn't cause much trouble, sometimes combined with a limited slip rear differential. The first often called just four-wheel drive with a rigid connection of the front axle but with an automatic pneumatic drive of the hubs. This is not the most common version for European cars with left-hand drive and Americans until 2002 and on Europeans it is often found until 2008. Opportunities are limited to the 2H rear-wheel drive mode, the 4H hard-coupled front axle mode and a lower rate one next to the 1.9 for a little gear ratio. The main problems are drive chain stretching over time, buzzing bearings and constant pneumatic formal functions. A very reliable unit often causes difficulties precisely with failures in the connection system. Air sensors and air valves, as well as wiring, provide the owner with constant worries about cleaning, purging and checking. A flashing four-wheel drive light is the rule rather than exception on all the cars. It's not that the price of the solution was very high, it's just that usually specialists don't even try to figure out the essence of the problems, changing everything. Although to be honest with the slightest desire, it's not difficult to find a problem in the system of two solenoids and a vacuum tank. Difficulties with the actuator are rare. It is very rare to find the real super select all-wheel drive system of the first generation from the full Pajero 2. Mostly it comes across on cars from Japan, but sometimes you can find it on Americans and Europeans. It is much more complicated, contains a full-fledged sensor differential and is blocking. In addition to the usual rear-wheel drive mode 2H, there is also an all-wheel drive mode with a sensor differential 4H and a lower it row for a little 4L and an option with a blocking sensor differential 4LS. Most of the factory options were also equipped with the first pneumatic locking of the rear cross axle differential. Pneumatics and electrics are much more complicated here, as well as the mechanics of the transfer case. For Pajero Sport, everything is aggravated by the rarity of such a configuration. By the way, many people put an advanced transmission on cars originally equipped with part time, since there are a lot of live SS transfer cases during this assembly. For installation on cars with manual transmission, you will need a custom propeller shaft with a lens of 1020mm along the axis of the cross pieces. But the craftsman also installed the front propeller shaft in the version with automatic transmission with a lens of 132mm. The rest that case itself is suitable from Pajero 2 with a 2.5 diesel engine. After 2002, a permanent all-wheel drive AWD system with a center differential and a soft automatic locking using a silicon clutch appeared on the machines. On the Americans, Montero Sport, after 2003, there is only such a variant of the transmission. There is no forced blocking of the center differential, but in practice, the cross-country ability of cars with such a system is not worse than that of variants with four-wheel drive and SS system. The difference is noticeable only in very hard off-road modes. In terms of complexity, the control system is somewhere between the other two, but there are a little more complaints about the reliability of the mechanical part of the box. However, they are all quite reliable when used correctly. The Lamel chain is enough for 120-180,000 km if you do not abuse the movement with blocked bridges on hard surface. Bearings and other mechanics have an even greater resource if the oil in the distributor is changed at least once every 2-3 to three years. Most of all, the owners are not even bothered by the transfer case themselves, but by the drive shafts, the silent blocks to the transfer cases and bridges and the CV joint in front, and of course all-wheel drive control systems. All these units require careful diagnostics upon purchase and in the process of operation, vigilant attention. The total cost of it for a couple of years can be even more than the average repair of a handheld box with a control system, where the chain costs 12-24,000 rubles plus work, only about 40-50,000 rubles on a turkey base. There are no special problems with manual transmissions, except that the dual mass flywheels and clutches on diesel engines are not particularly reliable. But the, but the automatic transmission of the V4A51 series and its rare 5-speed version of the Montero 3.5 V5A51 can be safely attributed to one of the most successful and resourceful boxes. Before a mileage of 200,000 km, problems are extremely rare. There are even automatic transmissions with runs over 400,000 without repair. The main problems of a purely electrical nature are a failure of the rotational speed sensors due to severe operation as well as the rare replacement of the planetary gear sets of the overdrive. The resource of the clutches of the gearbox and gas turbine engine is about 200,000 km, twice as much as on modern 6-8 speed automatic transmissions, so as you can see the design is perfectly balanced. On cars for the Asian market you can also find the iSYN 3043LE for a speed gearbox, familiar to many from Toyota Land Cruiser of different series. It is no less reliable and even withstands tough exploitation a little better. With proper maintenance, it easily overcomes the, the half-million mark and in commercial vehicles, there are automatic transmissions with a mileage 
of over a million kilometers. On this information about the problems of Mitsubishi Pajero Sport is exhausted. If you know more or do not agree with what you heard, I am waiting for you in the comments.